The tablet reviewed here is the larger and more potent of the two VDR-SIONS of the Mobile Studio Pro The other is the more modestly outfitted 13-inch Mobile Studio Pro 13, which ranges in price from $1,499.95 to $2,499.95 The display itself is 15.6 inches while the tablet as a whole measures 0.75 by 16.5 by 10.3 inches HWD and weighs 4.86 pounds. Holding it in one arm can get tiring quickly, but you're more likely to rest it in your lap or on a desk when drawing. Anyway, the Wacom stand, sold separately for $99.95, can't prop up the Mobile Studio Pro 16 at a variety of angles, too. The Rumi Touch Display's resolution is 4K 3840 by 2160 Any artist should appreciate this, as higher resolution is better for individual pixel work. Images look vibrant, and the finish prevents irritating reflections. The display could air 94% of the Adobe RGB color spectrum, which is good, though it's a bit disappointing that this art-focused device does not hit 100%. Laptops aimed at creatives often boast 100% coverage to reproduce completely accurate colors, which is important for matching what you see on the screen to real-life colors on samples or prints. In addition to the touchscreen input, there are a number of physical buttons to help with executing controls and shortcuts. On the left-hand side are a four-direction rocker ring with a middle clip button, and two columns of four buttons above and below it. By using the Wacom Tablet Properties Interface accessible through Windows or the Wacom Desktop Center app you can assign a variety of different shortcuts to these hardware controls. You may want to configure the touch ring to rotate or auto-scroll, one button to activate a specific key combination, the third to act as the shift key, and so on, and you can have a different set of assignments for each program you use Photoshop and Illustrator are somewhat different, after all. Through the Wacom utility you can also make other adjustments, such as deactivating the touch screen in Illustrator, so you don't have to worry about your hands smudging the digital canvas. Last but certainly not least is the included Wacom Pro Pen 2, which is your main tool for manipulating the touch screen. It features 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity, as well as tilt and multi-touch support. The back end can be used as an eraser, a concept inherently comfortable to most users and the two slim buttons toward the tip can either be used for their default functions of left and right clicking, or be assigned different commands in the way calm AP peer. You can read our artist's impressions of using the pen below, but it's highly customizable, and its lack of battery removes a potentially irritating aspect of digital art. As mentioned, the Mobile Studio Pro 16 is a full Windows 10 tablet, not merely a drawing device that runs pared down VDRS IONS of creative software. That means it supports the same programs you're used to on a PC, and may also be used for browsing the web, checking your email, and doing anything else you can on manage on your laptop. The onboard SSD has a capacity of 512 GB, which is a good amount for storing all different types of media projects and other files though it could potentially fill up relatively quickly if you have a lot of raw photos or 4K video clips. In addition to Bluetooth 4.1, the Mobile Studio features 802.11 AC wireless, the 5 megapixel MP front camera, and an 8 MP back camera equipped with Intel Real Sensei technology for capturing objects in 3D space. You also get a 12-month license for using Artec Studio 11 Ultimate 3D scanning and processing software, to reduce lag or delay while working in your favorite demanding Adobe program and to generally run all Windows programs quickly there's a 3.3 GHC dual-core Intel Core i7 6567U processor and 16 GB of memory. On the graphics side, there's a professional class NVIDIA Quadro M1000 M discrete card. Other physical buttons and ports include the power slider on the left flank alongside a headphone jack, volume buttons, and an SD card slot. The right edge holds three USB-C ports for charging with the included power brick and connecting peripherals There are no USB Type-A ports, 
so you'll need adapters if they don't already use USB-C as well as a Kensington security slot. On our battery rundown test, the Mobile Studio Pro 16 lasted 3 hours, 43 minutes. That's quite close to what we saw when we ran a similar test on the 12.9-inch Apple iPad Pro 351 but nowhere close to the Surface Book's 1541. As with a gaming laptop, the Mobile Studio Pro 16 is big enough that you won't likely use it VER while far away from a power outlet for long periods of time, whereas the Surface Book and similar tablets are designed specifically to travel with you. Wacom rates the Mobile Studio Pro 16's battery life at about 6 hours, and under normal usage conditions, which doesn't seem out of the question, and when our designer tested the tablet see the next section he had no specific complaints about the battery life. Still, the Mobile Studio Pro 16's battery life is not legendary, so keep that in mind while planning your daily